80% of clothing is made in foreign sweatshops. 218 million child laborers. These tank tops are made in the USA. Not made by slaves. Okay, USA. And they come in a variety of colors. Made in America by Americans. <laughs> singer and black activist Sam Cooke wrote the lyrics to his song, A Change Is Gonna Come, 
It was very direct and to the point. With some changes to it, the song was still digestible. In the year 2019, Black folks continue to go through the change rather than direct the change. A community activist named Talik Ibn Rock has made an appeal similar to what Sam Cooke was asking for, a change. It said that the meek shall inherit the earth. We ask when. When will the landlords give the meek a free lease? Mr. Ebenrod is humbly asking for the state of Mississippi. This is Dusty Basement Studios, and we approve of this message. from the start and, and I even look I anyway yeah. uh chapter 10 pedophilia the worldwide okay yeah sometimes I feel like giving up but only the strong survive so giving up is something that I'll never do let's get it Grind hard, giving my all, it's now a level. Down bad, most of my life, gotta do better. World so cold, I went and got a new sweater. Never let him see me cry, so I gotta keep my head up. New day, I ain't tripping down my two legs. Give my fan my back. Make sure that my crew stay loyal. Pray hard till you come up. Cause friends turn to enemies like 50 cent and young buck. It was all good just a week ago. In the studio, making hits to the speaker smoke. Benny in the cup, rolling up, blowing reaper smoke. We live in today because I feel like at any moment my life could be threatened. I feel like at any day I could be murdered by a black male. Mm -hmm. And it's sad to say, but that is really how I feel. I got this man that keeps contacting me, reaching out to me, trying to talk to me, you know, and I'm going to put his name out there. Black son. Mm-hmm. Black Sun. Black Sun, I cut you off in 2013. I cut you off because you disrespected me. Black Sun. I cut you off because I don't trust you. I didn't trust you back in 2013 and I don't trust you today. And so that's why I don't want to talk to you on the phone. I don't want you back in my life. I don't want you back in my back in, in my circle for you to drain my energy, Black Sun. You're not gonna drain my energy. You're like a like an energy vampire. 
I know you're a sociopath, okay? And no matter how many times you try and reach out to me to make amends, uh, you talk about, you know, you're sorry and I was stupid, you know. Baby, I cut you off in 2013. This is 2021. I got a problem with you. I got a problem with you. Keep contacting me. Keep reaching out to me. Coming all in my live streams. I got a problem with you because I know that deep down inside, I know you really, I know you really think this is a game. This is a game for you. This, this is what this is. It's a game for you, black son. The hunt is on because that is what you are. You're a predator. You're a predator of women. And I can see that about you, black son. Nobody is fooling me. Nobody, I don't, I don't care what you, I don't care what you come as. I don't care if you can come as the angel of light. You can come in as an angel of light. And I can see right through you. <laughs> I, can, I can see exactly who you are. And so, you know, Kick rocks. Yeah, right. I can kick rocks. Yeah, right. I can kick rocks. Yeah, right. I can kick rocks. Yeah, right. Angel 7 is right. He's right about this. You live with your fucking enemies. This shit is supposed to happen to your motherfucking ass because you're living with your enemies. You're living among your enemies. There is an old saying, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I want y'all to think about this. I want y'all to think about what I just said.
And she began to like Mr. Blackside. And Blackside, now according to her, her story to me, Blackside wanted some of those pets. But you know what? The worst thing to me is, is that the type and caliber of people he deal with, like you gentlemen and me and Noble and, and Nandy, we ain't the type of people that that will not not kill him, 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 kill him. You understand what I'm saying? As always, <clears throat> in the name of our ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program, known here on social media, wherever you may find me. I am known as the mighty, 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 huh, angel snuffing up seven. I am your soul brother, number one. How is my volume? I think my, my volume should be fine. Hey there, Melo. If you can hear me just fine. Put a one in the chat room for me. I think it's all right. It should be all gravy. <clears throat> Check my volume. Put a one in the chat room for me. It looked like it's all right. <clears throat> Seem like everything's cool. How, how we want to start this off? I have a lot of points to make. How do we begin our talk? Many of us have grown, we've grown up and experienced the American educational system. The majority of us, very few of us are, are homeschooled, very few. And from my experience of the American justice system, it is a requirement and you must take American history 
Is that true? For most of us, I, I believe that's true. We must be taught the history of this nation. From the forefathers, the Revolutionary War, to the Great Depression, to uh, World War I, to the Trail of Tears, we are taught American history. Now, once you get to college, you begin to see that a lot of these fairy tales and watered down history that we were given in uh, grade school, even in high school, once you get to college level and take history, you will see and begin to experience the reality of the history of this nation. And that history still is, as many of us know, the history is still watered down. But one thing is clear and one thing that does not escape is the violence of this nation towards melanated people. And I'm going to direct attention to us, we who are the descendants of slaves born in America, known as Ados, known as the Negro, known as African-American, known as black people. In this nation, and the history is written by them, those who enslaved, those who lynched, those who raped, those who discriminated, those who sick dogs on our people, those who sprayed our people with water hoses, those who had black men uh, on the street screaming for their mama with a knee in their neck, those run away who were running away from a cop getting shot in the back, the history is written by them. It is taught in school, grade school, high school, college. They tell us about the violence, the evil and the wickedness that they placed upon our ancestors and it is continued to be suffered by their descendants in 2021. What is so messed up if you make a video repeating what you learn in a history book, just giving your opinion, perspective on the history that they teach that is in every American school. They will flag your video. They will charge you with hate speech against white people. And you're simply talking about the history that they put in history books all over the country. <laughs> wow. I know from personal experience, this has happened to me. I'm like, wow, you can read this in a history book. I'm sorry, but your video has been flagged for hate speech. There were many brothers and sisters who made videos back in 2008, 2009, 2010. Brilliant, well-made, beautiful videos. They made these videos so nice, it made you look like you was going to see uh, a high-rated uh, thriller at the movie theater. Somebody actually took the time, 
they know how to use the software and put these uh, things together. Incredible. And these channels simply was talking about the history that white people put in history books themselves. And these channels was taken down by Google, by YouTube, hate speech. <laughs> it's all right for them to talk about their evil, but it's not right for the victim and their children to speak about their experience due to such atrocity, violation. <laughs> and speaking of that, this is why we found a nice place to go. We do not own it, but it's a better place than YouTube. It's called Rumble. And Rumble is just as nice as YouTube. And so the link is in the description box. Please, if you want uh, to follow us completely, because there are videos that I can put on Rumble that I cannot put on YouTube because YouTube will flag the video because our enemies will flag the video. And we can talk among ourselves, among our people, those who I don't want to socialize with other folks. We know that outsiders on YouTube can listen to our talk. At the same time, they say, I'm not subscribed to you. I'm unsub to you. That's what they say. But every post that we put up, everything we do, they know about it. You might as well be subscribed. I'm subscribed. Ain't no shame in my game. I'm subscribed to them. I never un unsubscribe to them. Why should I? Now you angry. Now you mad and upset. I'm still subscribed to you. You never heard me say I unsubscribe. I unsubscribe from Gay Nollywood Jr. I unsubscribe from Bakari. You never heard me say that because I didn't. There's an old saying also. Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. Why, why does YouTube, why does white people, why they don't want us to talk about what they did? Because what they did was true. And most people who do wrong don't want to be reminded of their wrong. So let me flag, even though these videos are true, even though these videos are expressing history from history books that we write. We're going to flag them for hate speech. You don't want the victim to speak. So here we are, unfortunately, at this point. And they don't want the victim to speak because I'm a victim. I have not done anything to these persons. I am, I am their victim. They, they are the ones who are the deceivers. They are the parasites. They are the manipulators. They are the users. And they don't want me to speak. because my words will interfere with their next victim. Just like the Caucasian people, just like the white people of this nation, just like Google, 
do not want soul brothers and sisters to come out and express their hurt, their pain, living in a racist society. A society that we did not create. And unfortunately, because you made it a race issue, we have no choice but to say the white people because it is this particular group of people who are doing these evil deeds. However, for me, I do not say all white people. I do not do that. I do not even say the white man because to be fair, all Caucasian people did not participate in the atrocity that we're speaking of. So if we are fair, if we are just, it is wrong that we would say the white man because the white man or the white race did not do this. It was a certain group. It was a certain group that did these horrible things for hundreds of years. I have a lot of different notes here. So I'm going to be uh, jumping from here, jumping from over, over, over there. That's what we're going to do real quick. But you have a group of people. In this case, you have women who do not want me to come out in the public and show the public exactly who and what they are. And the same smear campaign, slander and gossip that they want to accuse me of, they are the true perpetrators. They are the ones who are really guilty of this. Slander and libel, if it is true, it is not slander or gossip. It is only slander or libel when it is proven to be false. Now, I have challenged these persons, and if you notice, they don't bring the subject up. I have challenged these persons to a lie detector test. If you notice, none of them have accepted the lie detector test. Also, and I would pay for the test. Also, if they want me to take a lie detector test, I would do it. I accept your challenge. Whatever questions you have, bring it. I've told you many times before, Angel Snutting Up 7 is not perfect. Angel Snutting Up 7 make mistakes. Angel Snutting Up 7 can be in error. But one thing Angel Snuffin' Up 7 is not, Angel Snuffin' Up 7 is not a liar. I have no reason to lie. I would take your, I would take your lie detector test. You let me know when you're ready. I will set the test up. I will pay for it. You just go and take the test. They're not gonna do that because they already know they're going to fail miserably. I mean, really, really bad. <clears throat> they already know that. I will take your test. Now you heard, it was very quite clear 
and thanks to the deacons of reality because I don't watch your videos like that. I don't mess with you. And you're snuffing up seven, making false accounts, messing with me. You know damn well on YouTube, you have people that will see folks in a conflict, folks beefing, and they will come up under, make fake accounts to bother you and me. If people, if these fake accounts come into my live stream, oh, that's noble. They come into your live stream, that's snuff nut. Now, they're not coming to my live stream because they already know I've been doing this and hip to this for years. You're not going to see me making a video. Oh, here's Noble with a fake account. I don't know. The difference between you and I, you want that account to be me. Because you're a believer and you don't represent justice. You don't represent being fair. I'm not going to call a fake account that coming to my live stream. Oh, that's sister. No, I have no evidence. I have no proof. So I'm not going to say that. But you need people to believe that to try to make me look bad as possible. <laughs> Here's all my troll accounts right here. I'm able to, I'm able to talk to people live. And the twins are here. Mellow Cap, Razzy Fry. All I don't know how I'm able to do this. I guess with some kind of software. I don't know. I don't know how I'm able to do it. I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. But what is real and what, what you try to ignore and thanks to the deacons of reality because I don't watch your videos like that. I'm not interested in you like that. But I am vindictive. And if you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you back. Yes, I am vindictive. You cause me harm, you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you back. And you already know that. But it was all right for me to have this attitude when I was helping you against Sanetta and Napa. It's all right for me to be the way I am when I was helping you go back and forth with Sonetta and Napa, and what you was doing by yourself is nothing. What broke them down was what I was doing, what this platform was doing. And you had no problem with that. But now you are on the other side and you deserve it because you are a liar and you trifling and you're a loser. And now you have teamed up with a whole bunch of other losers. And you crying. What did you expect? You brought this on yourself because your evil, nasty, wicked, arrogant ways of which your friend, Mr. Black Sign, he said it in a live stream that you're arrogant. He said it in the text messages. You think you're a badass, but you need him because you have nobody. Nobody in your chat room, no, none of your subscribers, none of your supporters, none of nobody is making videos in your support of you. And plus many of them see that the things that I'm saying is true. So here you are at the at the 
end of your rope, you have no choice but to team up with the low lives of YouTube, the low lives of social media. Because you are a low life. You have become a, a low life. You went from striving to evolve and seek the heavens and now you've decided to dwell within the depths of the hell that you speak of. As soon as I cut you off, stop talking to you, cut you off money-wise, you began to fall because you have no strength. You have no inner strength. You have no ambition. You have no tenacity. You have no purpose in life. We gave you purpose. We gave you vision. We gave you a goal. We gave you something to look forward to. And you cut that off. And now you're nothing. The only thing you are is a wannabe evangelist. Quoting from a 2,000 year old book and a television reporter. That's all you have become now. We want to make these points and get out of here real quick. <clears throat> you have dropped so low that now you put my personal business you telling people, these people, my health issues, which has changed, but you don't know. <clears throat> you really don't know my health issues. But what little you do know, you, you told them my private health issues. You told them my residence. You let them see my book that they did not pay for. You a low down, dirty piece of trash. You garbage. I never mentioned your health. It's none of their business. I never mentioned your residence. And you put out a book that I helped you, inspire you to do that you don't give a damn about no more. You a flip flopper. And you think the people Supposed to be so stupid. They see that you're a flip-flopper. you confused. You don't even stand on your own words. You want to blame me for that. I have nothing to do with that. That's your action. Most of those people, they subscribed to you and they supported you because of your affiliation with Alexis K. Tyler and because of and because of what you were saying in God is on trial, they did not subscribe to your channel to listen to somebody talk about Jesus Christ returning to the faith. And you even see the post on your page. I don't believe in Jesus. I don't care about no Jesus. That's you. Has nothing to do with me. And now you're crying on YouTube. Uh -huh. Why y'all stop sending donations? Because you're not the same person who they subscribe to. Now you're talking about Jesus Christ. Now you're redundant talking about me. Oh, angel stuff is bothering me. It's redundant. And plus they see. Plus they see that you that you're confused and unstable. Like what the hell? What the hell do you stand on? You're a sellout. And many of them do do their due diligence, as you say. They do do their own research and they do have common sense. And they do see that your story has a problem.
So that's on you, lady. And so here you are calling me uh, all these names, uh, escape mental patient and, and repeating all this stuff that that Nandy chick. And mind you, I don't know who this Nandy chick is. I don't know who she is. She decided to come out of her mouth and call me a nutcase. So I'm asking her to prove it. I did not say anything about this woman. I don't know nothing about her. She did that for you because her and your friend, they have a porn stage waiting for you. What do these two people that don't like Christianity, what the hell do they want to do with you for? Except put you on the porn stage. That's what they want to do with you. They make it very clear they are against what you're what you believe in. They are against your Jesus. So what the hell they want to do with you for? Okay, so. Right before I began my talk, I played the video coming out of your own mouth. This is not old. This was a little bit, a few months ago. And you call this black sign guy a devil, a demon, a slickster, a trickster. These was your few words just a few months ago. And now you turn the same words that you use against him. Now you saying it towards me. The same kind of rhetoric. I'm scared for my life. You said a few months ago. That this man you were scared of. He's the type of man that could kill you. And now he's in your house. You think that the subscribers, you think the world don't see that there's a problem. Now he's in your house. And now you're probably sucking on them. Y'all disgusting, nasty, filthy creatures. But you need him now. And you will suck and you will lick. And you will do whatever you have to do. Because you don't want to hold yourself responsible for what you have done. And what you did. That's a damn shame. Except reality, my friend. It's much easier. So we have pork chop. Yeah, I'm scared for my safety. So you have pork chop and you have this woman because they do not want to accept responsibility for what they've done. And because they are angry, instead of being silent, I decided to come before the world and let people know what kind of low down, dirty, nasty, conniving, ruthless, evil people these women are. And if you notice, I don't say black woman. Well, <laughs> you see, uh, the black woman do this. Yeah, see, these black women, the, 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 the black women, if you notice, I do not say the black woman. No, these individuals. These individuals are liars, conniving, parasites, leeches, welfare queens, lazy, dirty, the scourge of the planet Earth. And they don't want me to talk and show the people. And I bring real receipts out of your own mouth. I bring real receipts and paperwork. I don't want you to just believe what I'm saying. Your own words condemn you. When I present paperwork, it's real. 
Now, what did I do to these women? I'm not going to go over the whole story. But I just want to give you something to think about. What did Angel Snub Nub 7 do to Noble? What did Angel Snub Nub 7 do to Leah Porkchop? When you listen to them talk, they really, they really don't explain and describe exactly what did I do. But in your investigation, even when you're dealing with white people, when you're dealing with people like this, you're dealing with uh, white folks, and this advice even came from this Caucasian guy, uh, Pierre Trudeau. He lives in Canada. I have his book. <clears throat> he said, follow the money. Follow the money. So when you follow the money and ask Sister Noble or Shitty Noble about the money, and you ask Aaliyah Porkchop about the money. You see the money. You see the benefits going from me to them. Follow the money. Do you see the money going from them to me? What did they do for Angel Snub Nub 7? Like Eric Muhammad used to always say, talk black to me. Like we say here, talk soul to me. When you listen to them talk, they talk about the benefit, whether I was working or whether I was unemployed, they benefit. The credit cards, the cash, and we, we show the receipts. So they're not, so uh, Aaliyah Porkchop is not going to lie because she know I got the receipts. What did you do for me? What did Sister Noble do for me? I don't even want your nasty vagina. So what did you do for me? And then I would go to Sister Noble's home and I would drive 1,000 miles round trip and she want to start an argument over nothing, accusatory. She wants to talk about the law firm, the law firm and martyr. And she still keeps bringing that stuff up, obsessed with the law firm and shoe show and been fired from every job you ever been. So I'm asking the question, what happened? Oh, you on their side. I'm not on that side. I'm just asking a question because the story that you're telling me is it's not adding up. Something is, is, is wrong with the story. It's, it's not adding up. They get angry for you to ask questions. Just take whatever they say on face value. And when it came to the martyr, When it came to Marta, she even said out of her own mouth, she told me she cussed one of the employees out. But she don't believe she should have been fired because other employees have done the same thing. Just because other employees did that don't mean you can do it. You done it. You got fired. They was justified in firing you. There was no conspiracy. There was no, there was no bullying. There was no harassment. You cuss out for whatever reason, your supervisor or dispatcher, whoever that person was, and they fired you from it. We come to learn that her best friend, Karen, the reason why that boyfriend beat her up is because she has HIV and did not tell him. And when he found out she had HIV, he beat her ass 
and Sister Noble and some of these other suckers on the panel say, I would, hey, man, I'd be angry and mess, mad too. I whooped your ass. You know you got HIV. Who wouldn't get angry? You messing with somebody, they know they have HIV and don't tell you. But Karen, don't tell. She don't tell that part of the story. And Noble and Porkchop, they don't tell the whole story. But if you follow the money, just follow the money. Who was the beneficiary? Now, I would be with her, and she want to argue over dumb stuff. I did not drive 500 miles to come argue with you. So she would start arguing and I would just go to the room that I was sleeping in and I would just lay down and look at the ceiling and let her talk. And then she would follow me to the room. She was watching TV and then she will stop watching TV and follow me to the room. Oh, you you don't want to defend yourself. You, I said I did not drive. I did not drive five hundred miles to come here and argue with you. I have nothing to say. And I just stare at the at the uh, ceiling, and then she'll calm down. A very emotional person, a person who don't want to accept responsibility and be held accountable for the things that they do. She just made a video. She just made a video on the street. And she turned to these people behind her. Say hi to the people. I'm live on my social media. And they totally ignored her. That was really, really embarrassing. And she just played that off on her own. Her own um, video, she's in Kroger, talking all loud. The security guard, sorry, ma'am, you gotta, you gotta leave. That has nothing to do with Angel Snut Number Seven. That's your behaviors. That's your behaviors. You recording crap. And showing your own behaviors on your own video. You're telling the world that Mr. Black Son, you scared of him. And now he's in your house. You, ju you just said this. It's not old. You did not say this last year. Just a few months ago, you said this. And now he's in your house. Now, you know I don't like Gay Nollywood Jr. We do not like, I do not like the Pan-African sewer rat Gay Nollywood Jr. But when she, start, when she started accusing him of stalking her page, I said, and I told her, those look like uh, robots. That don't look like a, a gay Nollywood Jr. That don't look like the sewer rat. Oh, it's him. It's him. That's guy Nollywood. He, he, he's stalking me. He's stalking me. I said, that don't, that, because those same type of, uh, that same type of crap was happening on my channel. And a lot of people was talking about how these strange, and they still happen, these strange uh, usernames, advertising porn, uh, they, they advertise in a whole lot of different things. Come to my website. I said, that's not uh, uh, the Pan-African sewer rat. That's, that's not, that's not uh, him. That's Gay Nollywood, and she made videos. I, if you notice, I did not support that. I did not make no comment about that 
because there was no, I don't act on things I cannot prove. And so she started making these videos. And as far as I was concerned, it was lies. I did not make any comments. And then she turned around because uh, the uh, the uh, the Pan African sewer rat was was using her video. I'm gonna flag him for copyright. I said, don't do that. That's one thing I do not do. I do not flag people for copyright. I think that's so cowardly because they're not using your material. They are using your material for educational purposes or whatever. They're not making money off of it or whatever. I'm going to flag, and that's what she did. And I do know because of her, Gay Nollywood Jr.'s channel was almost terminated. I know because it was two copyright flags against his channel because of her. And whether Gay Nollywood Jr. believes me or not, I told her don't flag his video. But she's dirty like that. She flagged us. She's a coward. She's a low down, dirty piece of garbage. Weak. Absolutely. She's a piece of shit on the floor, our deacon said. And that's that's why. And not, I mean, she's really shitty. She shits on the floor, and Black Sign said she had a shitty uh, attitude, and he just said it. See how fake these people are? He just said out of his own mouth, she has shitty attitude, shitty behavior. And there he is in the house with his mumbling ass. They on video on the live stream, and he act like he can't talk. Talking all low. Got too much vagina juice in your damn mouth, I would assume. Sucking these women nasty ass toes. You know, you know all these folks, they freaks. They have no boundaries. They willing to do anything. <clears throat> so He's the knight in shining armor now. Black Sun is the knight in shining armor. <clears throat> if you, sir, are really her knight in shining armor, sir, because I know what I would do. If this black son is really a knight in shining armor and he has integrity, <laughs> if he has, if he really is a knight in shining armor, he has good character and has integrity, and you want you want to put the ball in my corner and you want to show the people how dirty and evil I am. This is what you need to do, Mr. Black Sign, with your broke ass. This is what Black Sign would, would come. This, this is what Black Sign would do. He would come to me and say, look, man, I don't know the real story. I don't know what happened between you and Noble. I don't know the whole story, blah, blah, blah. But this is what I do. I do know that you paid her car off. And her car is very, very important. You need a car to get around in Atlanta. And man, I, I appreciate that you helped the sister out like that. I will reimburse you. Look, I will reimburse you for her car. What can I say? What can I do? 
if this man came to me and told me I will reimburse you for paying, you know, paying her car off. What can I say? What can I do? And he said, I, I, I know you did. I know you treated this sister good. I, I know this. We're not rich. You know, we're not rich. But I'm willing to, I, I want to do this to show that I got good character. And I want to show you that I'm, you know, since I, since I am her knight in shining armor, I appreciate you for being there when I wasn't, when I couldn't be there. So either he will give me the full amount of money I paid or he will make monthly payments to me the same way he did before I had cash out. He know how to send me money because he sent me money before. For a dirty purpose. For a dirty purpose. I did not have no cash app until after my operation. 2020, late 2020. Nobody was sending me no money. This man was sending me money through Zelly. He was sending me money and left me a message. Your audience likes to see you and Noble together. Why don't y'all do a, a porn video? Why? Ooh, this is how disgusting. This man, going back to 2013, she said out of her own mouth, he offered her $1,000 to do porn. Going back to 2013. And he offered her money just recently to try to get her to do the same thing. And he offered me money to do porn. And now you got this sucker in your house. Who's a damn fool? Who's a damn fool? He did not deny it because he can't. I got the Zelly payments. Why are you sending me money, sir? Nobody is sending me money, but you sending me money. Asking me to do a porn with this woman. And now you're in his, in her house. You offered her a thousand dollars to do pornography. Woo, she's so stupid. Because she don't want to accept responsibility and be held accountable. The reason why she does not want to talk to us about what happened is because she know when it's all said and done, she was the root of it all. And I'm not going to talk about all that because we've already been down that road. She don't want to accept responsibility. I'm, that's right. Her mom would be shamed. But this is the thing about it. Remember, Black Son said her mother was basically an invalid. She had dimension or something. So she wouldn't even, she wouldn't even know. According to him. Her mother wouldn't even know what's going, what's happening. She was an invalid. So if this man really was a man, a knight in shining armor, that's what he would do. Hey Amen. I will reimburse you for doing that. He's not a man. He's a leak. He's a parasite. Along with his friend Nandy, whatever the hell she is. You're going to see. Oh, another thing. Remember, they was butt ass naked in the bed, right? He took out his cell phone. Don't, don't, don't record me. I don't want to, I don't want to be on 
a, a video. You got this man. He took out his cell phone. He's offering you to do. He, he offered you money to do porn. He tried to get you on film while y'all was butt naked in the bed with his telephone. He offered you money and he offered me money to make a porn video and you got this sucker lit in your house. Oh, lady, you so stupid. You so stupid because you don't want to accept responsibility for your actions. I got a few more points and we're going to get out of here, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. It's a damn shame. So they are on here talking about me slandering somebody. They are out here talking about my relatives. My relatives don't know them. None of my sisters, none of my brothers, they don't know these people. They don't know them at all. They don't know nothing about my family at all, period. Don't know nothing about it. So they slandering, talking about I did something to uh, my grand, my great relative, lady, whatever. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't. Since it didn't happen, I don't know the details of what I supposed to have done. And they talking about I'm slandering them and all this other nonsense. They calling me the escape mental patient. <laughs> that's that's really cool. Which is a bunch of lies. They use my website. The website they getting all their information from. That's my website. Talik Ibn Ra at eweb.net. That's my website. The title of the link is The Final Evaluation of Brother Lauren L. Who, who would write that? That's me on my website. Why would I put something on a website to hurt me? They tell you everything about the link except the, the whole go down to the very bottom. Go down to the very bottom. And also, well, I don't have to prove nothing. I want you to be embarrassed because it's all stupid. Everything they got, everything they got, I can debunk. Easy. Because it's about me. That's my website. She says I don't have relatives in Atlanta. I did not go to Atlanta to see my relatives. I went to Atlanta to visit you. I have relatives in Atlanta. I also, as she know, I also have a friend in Atlanta. You don't tell me and nobody gives me no order. I can't come to Atlanta. I don't want to come near you. For what? You don't mean nothing to me. And I can come to Atlanta anytime I want damn well please. Just because you don't know my relatives or I never spoke about my relatives in Atlanta has nothing to do with you. There's a lot of relatives I have all over the country you don't know nothing about. You don't know me like that. Why do this man, Black Son, I'm not trying to, to make mockery of nobody, but damn, it looked like you he wear the same damn t-shirt every video. It's that same blue Whatever t uh, tank top thing that he always wore. <laughs> Is that me? Is that me tripping? Because it looked like every video, just they just made a video yesterday, I think. And he's wearing the same blue tank top. I mean, if you wash it, I guess, I guess you could do that. But, you know, I don't trip off of it. But it's the same exact one. Well, Elijah Muhammad said, well, that's because he's probably broke. 
He got all those children that he got to pay for. He got a house he can't really afford. He's broke too. All these people are, are, are broke. All of them are. I heard that, that Sister Nandy chick, I heard she's on Section 8 too. They all broke. All broke folks. Running cons on each other. That's why he needs to do pornography. Because, you know, that's that's some real quick, you know, you make, I guess you assume you can make some, you know, decent money doing pornography. I'm going to make this point and we're going to get out of here, okay? <clears throat> These people are broke. Welfare recipients. They broke. They broke. But uh, I don't make mockery of, of people because you don't have any money. That's one of our problems in the community is our poverty. But you don't go around lying and stealing and, and cheating other poor people out of theirs. Like Noble, like a, a, a Leah Porkchop. And this guy looking for victims so he can make money off of porn. Ex exploitation of people. <laughs> Look, I'm going to say this. We're going to get out of here. I bought this woman groceries. I took care of her for, for two years, year and a half. I bought her groceries. I helped her pay her bills. I'm the one that was there. I was there when she was crying about shoe show. I was there when she was talking about suicide. I was there. I'm the one that was comforting her. I'm the one that supported you mentally. I'm the one that was there. None of these people was there. None of them. None of them gave you a dime. None of them are giving you a dime right now. I was the one that was there mentally. I was the one there financially. I was your support system. I was. How the hell can you turn around and do and say the things that you have done? You want me back in the crazy house. What kind of crap is that? Only thing I'm doing and have done is make videos. And you know, and the things that I'm saying is true. Ain't no slander. Prove that it's slander. You done everything that I say in my videos, my commentary, all of it is true. It ain't no slander. It's not no libel. None of it. But everything that you present is lies and slander and gossip. I don't have to do that. And if you really want to know my mental health, I will sign a consent form. Tell Nandy I will sign a consent form and she can get all my records. It's going to probably cost her about $135, $150. Yes, I was. I took care of you because we were in a relationship. I took care of you because that's what a man's supposed to do. You didn't do nothing for me. And then just because of, of, of a platform, a bigger platform, you went the first time that you betrayed us when you went to Sarnetta, you let that woman disrespect me and you sold me out. Way before the incident with Karen, you, you sold us out. Again, I was there when you're talking about suicide. I was there when you were suffering. None of these people, and they're still not going to do nothing for you. 
because they can't do nothing for you anyway. All of your associates, all of them are broke ass niggas. And they don't like you. I would not be shocked to see you on Pornhub. That's where you're going. You're going to have this man's penis in your mouth. That's your future. They're going to turn you out. And you're going to be a worn out piece of trash the next time we see you. Your dreadlocks are going to be all messed up. Your skin tone going to all be messed up. You're riding with the wrong crowd. The road that you're going down is a bad one. If you truly, if you truly are a Christian like you claim, you could easily turn all this around. But you're not a Christian. It's just talk. It's just talk. We know what you really are by the company that you're keeping. And all these people are con artists, manipulators, parasites, tyrants, vulgar, nasty, greedy, selfish. And it's just going to be, it's not going to take a long time. All of you are going to fall out. All of you are going to fall out. The latest video is this. Is this the video to to your uh, to your to your video? Uh, the new video by the Deacons. Is it happening at two two p.m.? The Deacons have another video coming out. Subscribe to the Deacons of Reality Productions. The link is in the description box. We're getting ready to celebrate Soul Liberation Day 2022, December the 7th, 2021 at 2.30 p.m. Oh, that's a... Uh, oh, that's her. That's her. That's, that's her rant. Okay. I want to thank Razzie. I want to thank uh, the Deacons of Reality. I want to thank Mello. I want to thank, of course, Soul Brother Talib and Soul Sister Ann and Phil Fox. <clears throat> I want to thank all of you. And I said this in another video, and I have no problem saying it over and over and over again. I've never felt as strong. I've never felt as powerful. This is the best time. I've ever had being on social media. You have made me strong. You have made me powerful. This is the best I've ever been since 2007 when I first brought this ministry to social media. Absolutely, uh, Mello. Absolutely. I, I want to, to, to thank Brother Talib, Brother Talib has been around and we've had our ups and downs or whatever, but Brother Talib has been there with me for years. And I thought that it would be the three musketeers. I was, I was thinking that she also would be part of the most powerful uh, voices on YouTube and we was wrong because she's there's nothing powerful about her. She's a weak-minded person, confused, selfish, greedy, arrogant. 
Just like Black Sign said, shitty attitude. She's an ingrate. Don't appreciate nothing. And now, and she's on the bottom. I'm trying to lift her out of the gutter to put her in a good place. But she'd rather be low. And the next time we see her on Pornhub, she don't reach the lowest of the low. If she don't turn to drugs, she might start doing crack or meth or something. Because when you start falling, you, you, you fall bad. You fall bad. Razzy says, you cannot stop the reality's temple on earth. Sister Noble and her crew just need to deal with it. That's right. You can't. I'm not worried about all that stuff. Escape mental patient. Your own, your own so-called receipts contradict what you're talking about. Your own receipts that you got from me. <laughs> it's just stupid. Stupid stuff. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. But as far as making complaints against all of you and you believe Black Sound believes I have not filed a police report. I have not done nothing. That's your belief. You don't know what I have done or have not done. You don't know. But see, that's your problem. I'm not worried about nothing you say. I'm not worried about nothing that you do. I sleep very well. I don't even make videos talking about I'm an escape mental patient. I already know the deal. My crew already know the deal. And when the right when the time is right, we'll easily show you how stupid that you that you are. That woman, yeah, he's he's not interested. He's not interested. That, that man is over there. He's not interested in none of this kind of stuff. He's over there. His, his channel is uh, your world, your views. He's not interested. He's doing just fine. <laughs> Black Saw went from wearing... Um, that African looking stuff to these damn tank tops. What's up with that? What does he really represent? He's supposed to be some kind of atheist. Oh, what the hell is he? What is he? <laughs> Woo, I don't know, but I'm going to talk and let people know about you and pork chop so maybe they will hear my words and avoid women like you you had a good man or oh, the black men do this and black you had a good man and pork chop had a good man in your house and you didn't know what to do with him because the problem is you. It's not the man. The problem is you. <laughs> right, right, Mello. <laughs> exactly. I had to stop eating uh, KFC. Soul Brother was sending me money for KFC. I had to stop, stop doing that. So now basically it's it's vegetables and, and, and baked chicken. 
More so vegetables. I love vegetables. That whole group, that whole group is. And so, and the one, the person who's leading the charge is that Nandy chick. She don't know nothing. And the reason why she talked the stuff that she talks is because, like the young lady said, she has three children that's ex-convicts. Trouble with the law. That's why she knows the little law stuff that she's talking about. But it don't make any difference because if you notice, she does not never show receipts. She don't never show real receipts. They just talking. When we put stuff down, it's real, undeniable, unrefutable receipts. And we show what these suckers just said out of their own mouth. She just said that this man was a demon. He offered her a thousand dollars to do pornography. He tried to take her butt naked when they was laying in the bed, try to record them in the bed with his cell phone. Didn't you get the memo? You don't see, but you're so desperate. You need friends. You need some support that damn bad. Oh, wow. Wow. You're going to get what's coming to you for being a fool because you don't want to accept responsibility and, and hold yourself accountable, accountable for the things that you do. Damn. Woo. We are out of here, y'all. Thank you for joining me uh, for these few minutes. That's right. Eat cleaner like Angel Snup Nup 7. Also, Angel Snup Nup 7 needs to exercise. Angel Snup Nup 7 needs to exercise. And I, I, it'll be, that will put me on the top. That will put me on the top. So let me catch up with, with y'all comments real quick and we're going to get out of here. You can stay in Loserville if you want to. That's your problem. All of them are losers. Losers, Sunshine, Karen, Porkchop, Alquan, Nandy, P Funk, Gay Nollywood, Gary. Who is who is oh I don't know who I don't know who that one is. Noble, Wax Sign, Sonata, Loserville. Loserville. She's a Christian. She does not act and behave like no Christian that I've ever seen or, or known. And I know she don't act like those people at that church. Tell them a lie. I wrote a letter to her pastor and blah. That's a damn lie. No evidence, no proof. How the hell, how the hell am I writing a letter? I'm with you to, how the hell did this letter, I don't even know, right now to this day, I would have to go on the internet and, and look her church up. Give me a lie detector test. Give me a lie detector test. That's what I want. I'm not going to pay for it. Give me a lie detector test. So with that said, let me get out of here. Thank you for joining me for these few minutes. And y'all have a nice day. Take care of yourself the best the best that you can. We live in a very violent, violent world, very nasty world. Uh, we are surrounded by predators. So be careful, take care of yourself. And until the, 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 the next uh, Thizzy, uh, as our, our ancestor, Don Cornelius used to always say, as important, I wish us love, peace, and so, 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 so we are Audi 5000. Oh, yeah. Do the song in your head because they done took that away from the cheap version of rest, rest Restrain. They done took our counter away. <laughs> Restrain, y'all should be shamed. Took the, took the counter away. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. 
actually it start it starts with 30 so it'll be about like 20 by now like 20 19 18 17 16 <laughs> they're going through the whole thing <laughs> 